What's up my peeps? It's your girl Donna and I'm here with another video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is show you how I cook red pea soup. Some people said red bean soup, but for us we said red pea soup. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so this is like about three pound of pig steel that I bought. And what I do, I clean it up as much as possible. You see all that fat? I try even get under the skin and cut off some of those fat because it's just not healthy. I mean, some people really doesn't use pig steel in their soup. But for me, without pig steel, in my pea soup is like no pea soup because I love pig steel. Look at all that fat. I try cut it off as much as possible. Then I wash it with running water and I put it in a pot with boiling water and I let it boil off for about five minutes. I throw off that water and then I rinse it off again with fresh water. I clean up my garlics, take off all those dark spots, wash them, put them in a pot with fresh water, and then I put my pig steel in there, and I let that stay on the fire and boil for roughly, after it boiling up for maybe about 20 minutes, and then I wash my peas and put it in there. And let that stay there for maybe around 25 to 30 minutes. I let that off cook. While that going on, I start cleaning up my chicken foot. Take off all the nails. Wash them off with fresh water. And then I wash them off with hot water from the kickle. I boil my water and just wash off my chicken feet. Chicken feet can be also greasy. So I wash them with boiling water. Okay, I let that, put that in and all of that just stay on the fire, cook. For maybe a roughly another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 25 minutes, either way, I'm, I, I didn't time it, but I just let, I cover it up and I just leave that to cook. And then I start make, put with some coconut milk also, I put some coconut milk in there, like about half cup of coconut milk. While that cooking, I start making my dumpling with cornmeal. I use cornmeal and flour and I make the dough and then I make my dumplings and then I put them in the pot also with my corn <laughs> I put my corn and dumpling in the pot together and I let that cover that up again and I leave and leave that for Roughly another maybe 10 minutes. My corn and my dumpling. And then I start peeling my yam, my sweet potato, my um my white potato. Those things give the soup body. So for me, sweet potato in pea soup. I mean you could I could I could use any peas cook this soup but for me sweet potato in pea soup is not pea soup for me I like sweet potato in my pea soup it give it that nice taste finish as my grandmother would said so I put my yam my sweet potato my white potato I put all of that in the pot and then I just add my season I had my and I also add um a cock soup, right? A grace cock soup. 
my pimento, my scallion, my thyme, and I also cut an onion in two and just drop it in the pot. A scotch bonnet pepper, and I just I just turn it up, turn it up a little bit, and then I stir the pot a couple of times until it finish but and that takes some time I mean to finish cook but um, that's all I did that's how I cook my red pea soup because um, what I put in the total amount of stuff is like I started with my pig steel and my garlic then my peas then my chicken foot then my corn and my dumpling then my yam and just season it up and just turn it up a little bit because of the pig still I didn't put any salt in there because the pig still still have salt and then that cock soup have some salt in there so that's how I cook my soup that's how I cook it was so good at the end of this video I have a trim 365 that I've been taking if you want it leave a comment below and I'll send you my link and you could purchase it thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this video tell me what you think in the comment below bye bye thank you